This is the Extract 2100 and it's uh, an ozone injection unit. So it's designed to be connected to the ductwork after the canopy. The main system fan will basically pull air into the unit where it's pre-filtered. Ozone is generated inside the unit and then that's released into the main ductwork and that ozone will attack the odour in the air and it will also attack any grease which lands on the duct surface but its main function is for odour control. It uses UVC technology to, to produce ozone. There's two main indicator lamp lights on the unit. The flow switch. This unit is designed to automatically switch on when there's airflow. Then we've got the in-service lights. When that is illuminated, you know that the unit is actually working. And when it goes off, then you know that it, maybe a lamp will need to be changed. So the unit, it's got routine maintenance. It relies on the change of the pre-filter. Followed by this, we've got the G4 filter. So this helps to filter the air as it goes into the unit. Typically, this filter is inspected on a routine basis and we recommend changing it every three months, but that does depend on the actual cleanliness of the air going into the unit. You can actually see that we've got the UV ballasts. Um, this is a new unit, so it's actually shipped with the UV lamps separately packaged. It's important not to touch the actual UV tube themselves because the, the grease in our fingers can affect the UV tubes. On these particular models we either have four lamps on a standard Extract 2100 units or six lamps on a Extract 2100 Plus. Our recommendation on these is to replace the lamps on a yearly basis so that we can keep the maximum UV performance.